and welcome back to Quaint's next training session within the Accounts Receivable Job function. During this time, we will review how to process incoming payments within SAP Business One. This is an important topic to cover, as during any given day, an Accounts Receivable Specialist may receive payments from customers to apply against their open invoices. Within the main menu, let's navigate to the Banking Module, Incoming Payments folder, Incoming Payments. As you can see, the window opens in Add mode. To begin posting an incoming payment, enter the customer code or name, whichever you prefer. As you can see, the table automatically populates with all open invoices. This screen itself is a really useful tool because as you scroll through the list of open invoices, the system displays the overdue invoices with an asterisk and the amount of days overdue. You can see here that I even have some invoices that are not due yet. With the copy of the payment from the customer in front of you, select the invoice or invoices in which to apply payment to. If the invoice included a cash discount based on the payment terms, that discount percentage will automatically be applied. You also have the ability to add a cash discount manually if needed. The incoming payment screen assumes that you plan to pay the remaining balance of the invoice in full. For partial payment of an invoice, simply adjust the value in the total payment column manually. In the case that the customer overpays or simply wishes to make a payment on their account, check the payment on account box and enter the dollar value. The next step of the incoming payment creation is extremely important to select the means in which the payment was made. Click the payment means button next to the total amount due. You can also get to the payment means window by clicking the button in the SAP toolbar or right-clicking anywhere on the incoming payments window and selecting payment means. When the payment means window opens, you will notice four tabs across the top, check, bank transfer, credit card, and cash. These tabs signify the means by which the customer has submitted payment to you. If the customer has sent you a check to pay for an open invoice, be sure to click on the check tab. Here, the default GL account from the GL account determination for checks received will appear. Typically, this is set to a clearing account for checks as the actual deposit is recorded as a separate transaction in SAP, and that's when the money moves into your bank checking account. The grid below will automatically define the check received as one from the default business partner bank account listed on the payment terms tab of the BP master data. This can be updated manually to a different bank or account if needed. Always be sure to enter the check number for deposit and reconciliation purposes. In the amount column, enter the amount of the check received. If it is for the full balance of the incoming payment, you can place your cursor in the amount field and click Control B on your keyboard for the amount to appear automatically. When you hit Tab on your keyboard or click outside of the field, you will see that the balance due in the bottom left-hand corner updates to zero, and the paid field in the bottom right-hand corner updates to the amount that you have entered in the grid above. In the case that you receive multiple checks from a customer to pay for one or more invoices, another line will appear in the grid to record that information. In the case that the bank has charged some sort of fee, that can be entered in the bank charge field. When you are finished entering the check information, click OK to return to the main incoming payment screen. 
If instead the customer pays via a bank transfer, use the Bank Transfer tab on the Payment Means window to record the details about this transaction. In the GL Account field, specify the GL account in SAP from which the bank transfer is to be posted to. Be sure to specify the transfer date and add a reference if needed. As before, enter the amount of the bank transfer in the total field or click Control B if paying the full amount. Again, when you are finished entering the bank transfer information, you can click OK to return to the main incoming payments screen. To continue, let's assume that your customer paid via a credit card instead. After clicking on the credit card tab, select the credit card name, typically the type of card that was used by the customer to make the payment. In some cases, a voucher may be available to use and will populate by default. Otherwise, you can continue on in the process by specifying the credit card number and expiration date. In our test system, we have selected the setting on system initialization to mask credit card number, so only the last four digits of the card will be recorded. In the Amount Due field, enter the amount for the credit card transaction, or click Control B if the full amount was charged. In the case that the invoice is paid across multiple credit cards, you can click Define New on the right-hand side under Vouchers and enter the amount and details about the charge on the second card, for example. When you are finished entering all of the credit card information, Click OK to return to the main incoming payment screen. And finally, let's reset and imagine that your customer has a lot of assets on hand and decides to pay the invoice with cash. After clicking on the Cash tab, the default GL account from the GL account determination for cash on hand, or if one exists, the default cash account from the user default window will populate automatically. Typically, this is set to a clearing account for cash on hand as, again, the deposit of cash is recorded as a separate transaction in SAP to distinguish when the money actually moves into your bank account. If required, simply select another account. Be sure to enter the amount of the cash payment in the total field or click Control B if paying the full amount. Again, when you are finished entering the details about the cash receipt, click OK to return to the main incoming payment screen. Lastly, you could also use multiple tabs on the payment means window to record multiple means of payment for a single invoice or set of invoices. On each tab, simply be sure to enter the correct dollar value in the amount or total field. As I do this, you can watch how the paid amount continues to increase while the balance due continues to decrease. This is again just another wonderful flexibility of SAP Business One. Before adding the document, be sure to confirm the dates on the incoming payment and add any reference or remarks you may need. If your company policy includes adding an attachment, such as a scanned copy of payment, the Attachments tab is available for you to browse and choose your file. Click Add to create the incoming payment. 
Since this is a document that automatically creates a journal entry in SAP, you can click on the Journal Entry button to get details about the accounting transaction that has taken place. For quick payment on a single invoice, you can also create an incoming payment in SAP directly from the AR invoice itself. Simply find the AR invoice to apply payment to. And then click on the payment means button next to the total field in the summary section located in the bottom right hand corner of the document. Here, you can see that the incoming payment window opens automatically with the invoice and the open amount already pre-selected. Again, choose the correct payment means type and continue to add the incoming payment. Remember, you can also access the payment means by clicking the button in the SAP toolbar or by right-clicking anywhere on the AR invoice and selecting payment means.